Thank you, Mrs. Samira, <clears throat> first of all, for doing all this great effort through your filming and production studio to give a good image and perception about Saudi Arabia, about the government of Saudi Arabia, and the nation and the, pe the Saudi people. So keep up the good work. You are doing great work to uh, present the world about Saudi Arabia Vision 2030. I wish you all the best. Good luck. We all support you and proud of you. Assalamu alaikum, uh, Mr. Wright. Thank you so much for always supporting me. And yes, this is my duty, my responsibility to serve my country, which is Saudi Arabia, being an experienced and uh, uh, trained Saudi media person. I will do everything which I can do till the last drop of my blood. As I always say that I was born in Saudi Arabia and I will like to die in Saudi Arabia and I will like to die for Saudi Arabia. And I want to live for Saudi Arabia. This is all. Also, Mrs. Samira, I would like to ask you uh, how important the role to have a good global PR or media and communication in English since you worked as the editor of Arab News and you were writing all the English uh, news in Saudi Arabia uh, to local uh, expats living in Saudi or to the global world and I would appreciate if you can exp uh, share with us your experiences there. Thank you so much uh, Mr. Wright for asking me such a beautiful question and uh, the role of English and not only English any any other language like Mandarin it can be Urdu because these are one of the biggest languages uh, of the world and uh, these are the languages in which we can communicate and uh, we can tell the world about us, who we are. When I joined uh, 20 years ago, like uh, in uh, 1999 and 2000, I joined Shirkat Saudi Abhas Vanashar, which is Saudi Research and Marketing Group, and then uh, Okas in Saudi Gazette, where I was a senior international editor. And uh, those were uh, very uh, hard working 14 years continuously. When I joined that media, uh, being a trained person from uh, Saudi Ministry of Media, we realized one thing that uh, we did not had any trained Saudi editor in these uh, media companies, in these newspapers. We had American editors, we had Indian editors, we had Pakistani editors. What we did not have, that was the Saudi editors. So uh, I just want to give you one, uh, uh, one example, which actually uh, changed my mindset 180 degree and which made me, uh, you know, forced to stay in Saudi Gazette to stay in foreign media until I will not train any other Saudi, trained Saudi uh, who will uh, take charge to portray Saudi Arabia in a, in a, in a really uh, official and professional way. For example, there was a news when it came to me, it was uh, actually handled and edited by, a, by an American uh, editor. And uh, the news said that a Saudi murdered an Indian. Wow, a small headline. It's a small case that a Saudi murdered an Indian. When it came to me, I told uh, my editor that, what is this? Why, why you are uh, portraying uh, this way? He said, what's wrong in that? And you only gave us only two columns. And I saw that uh, in the second column, he was writing that uh, the Indian was belonging to the Kerala and Kerala is a green city with lots of rains and all this blah, 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 blah. I told him, 
that uh, what's the use of writing about the weather and climate of his indian uh, kerala subcon uh, city this is a uh, useless information definitely the the news uh, when they the uh, news agencies give us any news they they give lots of uh, information about uh, this and that but as a saudi media how i put this news in the newspaper at that time uh, our uh, king salman he was the governor of riyadh so being a saudi trained senior international editor i made the nut graph and my headline was governor salman punished saudi for killing indian now you understand the difference because that english media when the news went to outside of saudi arabia what they think that the saudis they murder indians no there, there is a punish it is not allowed to kill, kill anyone in our country we have justice so this is the way you know uh, our news in foreign languages was were uh, mishandled or there was uh, no honesty you can say or uh, if the foreign editor they were they were working in this type of foreign languages media they were not caring and that's why when i whenever me or anyone most of the people in this group they might be uh, you know uh, traveling outside they must be witnessing it that the people they think that we saudis are not a good human being we saudis are uh, brutal and all this uh, whatever is our uh, our image outside so uh, that's what i capture and i avail this i have uh, noticed and caught so many times uh, so many news outlets like reuters even cnn they were uh, manipulating or uh, they were uh, actually giving the half truth giving the half truth or ha- half news is very dangerous and it impact wrongly for our country you know uh, arab media saudi uh, uh, saudi media people they are working very well and uh, actually in arabic languages the the countries who speaks arabic like yemen like dubai like bahrain like egypt they already know what is saudi arabia those countries who speak other languages like uh, mandarin like uh, urdu like english like portuguese they don't know what is saudi arabia those are the countries to whom we must need to communicate and that's how and that's why the foreign languages are very important it is very important to uh, learn to communicate with them through media and the media is the most powerful weapon and among those uh, we have the films we have the sports we have the video we have the entertainment platform to communicate with them and uh, we should train ourselves uh professionally and we should train more saudis who can be enough smart with the experience to tell about your country to tell the stories of your countries to uh, uh, just remove the misconceptions and uh, that's how today uh, we are not uh, actually the oil economy we need to go and mix with other people who are, uh, are now now the non arab countries we need to work with them we we need to be a powerful uh, country in the wto not just because of the reason of the oil but because of the other reason that as a vision 2030 always say that uh, Uh, we need to uh, promote ourselves in tourism in entertainment etc etc so i love vision 2030 why because of that because now it is bringing us out it is thinking out of the box and that's how according to the vision 2030 we want other people to trust on us we want other people to respect us we want other people other countries to understand us and that's why it's very important now to communicate to the world in the foreign languages so they will know us better and they will feel relaxed with us thank you so much thank you thank you <clears throat> uh, very good uh, 
answers you have made and I like uh, the way that you read between the lines and that's right uh, in, in uh, journalism usually you have a headline you have subtitles and you have the content and uh, as you said during that time maybe there were not enough uh, Saudi editors in English news or maybe in Urdu or uh, uh, Tangerine or whatever international language and uh, it's very true that uh, we need to be uh, integrated with the world and the whole world communicate and especially so Saudi Arabia is uh, transforming uh, and integrated with the whole world uh, Alhamdulillah, now Saudi Arabia is hosting, inshallah, the G20 under our King Salman, God bless him, leadership and the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, uh, God bless him, inshallah, he's the uh, visionary man and behind the Vision 2030 and the national transformation and as you said, now we are not uh, only living on oil-based economy. However, uh, now the whole country is transforming. Alhamdulillah, now we have a lot of uh, students coming back after King uh, Abdullah uh, scholarship program, almost 250,000. Half of them are uh, females which have been educated in the U.S., in Europe, in China, in Japan, Korea, India. So uh, our uh, generation now, they are youth, we are a youth generation. Uh, and now we can see the transformation. Uh, leadership is giving to this second generation or third generation and they are uh, performing uh, pretty well and they are very smart alhamdulillah and uh, of course uh, we have a uh, uh, majority speaks english uh, we have also a student who went to china mandarin they brought with them not only languages but they brought with them a lot of culture a lot of information and this is really is a, a great era that we are living in because through virtue, through education, through R&D, this is where nations arise. And Alhamdulillah now this is exactly what is happening uh, in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Uh, we live in the middle of the world about two billion Muslims look to Saudi Arabia because Alhamdulillah God blessed us with the two holy mosques, uh, Mecca and Medina. And Alhamdulillah God, He uh, is blessing this country with the prayer of Sayyidina Ibrahim that to keep this country safe and to be having the land of plenty. So. Uh, this is why a lot of international media, they try to maybe write negative things about Saudi. But uh, alhamdulillah again, we live in, a, in a, a, a global village. And through uh, now social media, we can communicate and we can give good image about our kingdom. I would like to ask you, where do you see Saudi Arabia in the next 10 years? I strongly believe that uh, if the Vision 2030 uh, is implemented in a proper way, in an organized way and on time, then nobody can stop us to be one of the nation beside America. I'm uh, very much uh, uh, hopeful 
with vision 2030 but uh, the condition is only that it should be implemented in a proper way and uh, i'm hoping the best future uh, for the saudi arabia with the neom city type of projects and uh, now our shabab our saudi youth which are very much uh, educated and uh, they are intellectuals and with some uh, better and changed policies of saudi arabia no one can stop us to go ahead and to get our our dream to get our progress and uh, as uh, one of the best nation of the world being an islamic country be being a progressive islamic country with the atadal with the balanced lifestyle yes uh, I am very hope hopeful for the future of Saudi Arabia. God bless Saudi Arabia and its uh, government, the custodian of the two holy mosques, the crown prince, and the government and the nation. Inshallah, Saudi Arabia will be among the top G20 countries. And we live it now. We live now in that era and inshallah within the coming years things will be better we have to have a strong uh, trust in God in our government in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and our people and we will be there uh, my question where do you see women uh, in Saudi Arabia in the next 10 years um, I think um, by providing women with more freedom and uh, more opportunity to contribute economically, Saudi Arabia is uh, taking a strategic and proactive action to deliver its goals out outlined in uh, Vision 2030. I'm actually watching a changed future, a very positive future. Believe me, the economic role of a woman in Saudi Arabia will be extremely increased and uh, the males uh, will feel proud of them inshallah bismillah they will uh, trusting uh, on women more due to their hard work knowledge and education and i'm watching that the mindset of uh, thinking about women as a kid or giving women and men the same place will be end because uh, saudi women are aggressively proving themselves the progress achieved with regards to women's role in cultural and social life and in areas like health and education, it would also transform the lives of Saudi Arabia's women, families and children in a variety of ways like ranging from uh, mental well-being and satisfaction uh, through to elevating larger scale poverty and enhancing the educational prospects of Saudi Arabia's future generation inshallah thank you mrs samira <clears throat> first of all for doing all this great effort through your filming and production studio to give a good image and perception about saudi arabia about the government of saudi arabia and the nation and the pe the saudi people so Keep up the good work. You are doing great work to uh, present the world about Saudi Arabia Vision 2030. I wish you all the best. Good luck. We all support you and proud of you.